It's my feel good breakfast show. It is indeed your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso here on S3, and we have something very special for you. This is somebody, I want to make it as epic as I can, so let's do. She was born as Lindiwe Veronica Skosana, but many people know this feisty rapper as Assessor. You have to say it with an echo, Assessor. A force in the South African hip-hop industry who keeps her fans grooving with her infectious kasi beats. Oh yeah, and she's yes. joining us this morning as our performer amidst the release of her official debut single, Quantum. But we'd like to get to know her before she takes to the stage. So ladies and gentlemen, we are amongst a royalty right now. The Queen of Kasi Rap. Yes! Assessa in the Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Yes! yes. Woo! yes. yes. Uh, a small percentage of the welcome that you do deserve, but nonetheless, it's <laughs> yeah, so yeah. good to have you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing good. How are you? How are you guys? We, 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 you are here for us, man. We are the king of Cassie Rap here. We are fine. We, we are, are blessed. Yes. Ah, thank you. Thank you for having but, me, guys. You know, let's, let's start off at the beginning. Now, I mentioned your, your real name. I'm sorry about that. I want to get the back. You know, I basically wikipedia you now, yeah. uh, which is good. But now, in, in terms of when a rapper chooses their name, apparently the name comes to them. How did Assessa? the movement, the Kasi rap vibe start? Uh, well, Asesa, she's a female rapper from Mpumalanga with Bank in Malashen. You know Malashen? Do you know Malashen? With Bank. Yeah, with Bank from Malashen. Yeah. You can't just. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm from Pumalanga. Yeah. Uh, Kamala Asesa, like it's from the street. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's from the street. I used to be a battle rapper. Yes. Yeah, in the freestyle. So there was a friend of mine. He was like, yeah, Asesa man, you need to, you need to assess, you need to assess them. Ah. Yeah. And I was like, yo, nah, like a militia, man. Perfect. Assessa. Yeah, assessa. Mangas bizango assessa, then zoba assessa. You see, that's <laughs> so it. Assess the situation. Yes. Break them down with your flow. That's it, exactly. and that's how it was born. And, and, yeah. and I believe, obviously, chatting off record, uh, off, uh, off the camera earlier, you've been doing this since, like, young, young, young. It's been in your blood for so long. Since from a primary, like secondary, then a secondary, it's when yeah. we understand, we say, okay, there's uh, freestyle, there's battling. So we used to battle, we used to battle yeah. during our break time. This battle every day, every day. And, and, and battling for me, honestly, is like such a premium form of rapping. It's on the spot. You don't get time to prepare. You're getting into that flow state. And you've been doing that all the way through up until 2015 when you got an incredible award. Mm -hmm. African... Actually, <laughs> actually, 2010, go back to the city. You know, okay. back to the yeah, city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back to the city, I won a 10K challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. so take it five years back yeah. before that you were already getting yeah. credit, you were already getting the props. Yeah, 10K challenge, like, being Petlila na four guys, four guys. Oh, I was the only on. female MC there. And uh, that's actually a brilliant point, because, I mean, in the industry I alone... I 10K. You, 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 you <laughs> that's get, it. You're getting acknowledged in a space where, for me, females don't get the credit that they truly deserve. And you showing, you glowing, you coming into the scene, and you making a statement. And I mean, 2010, uh, 10K, 2015, South African hip hop artist. I mean, for you as a female rapper, do you think that there's enough representation in the game or you feel like you're on your own? No, for me, Gakulu in hip hop, Gakulu in hip hop, I feel like hip hop, it was designed for maybe two female MCs, mm -hmm. you know? So <clears throat> for me, so Mina Zankeng is born as, uh, I, I don't want people to recognize me as a female uh, MC. Yeah. That is why ni petlila, that is why I'm a freestyler, that is why I'm battling with four guys. Yeah, well. So uh as anking funabantubang tate as a female MC. So hip hop I feel like abas abas accept the way. Abas 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 accept ngenjela egmele bas accepting a corner, especially in my female MCs. Cause how many female MCs do you know yeah. about the spotlight? Yeah. yeah. Maybe two or three. Yeah. So I'm feeling that we need more female MCs. We need more stories as we have more female MCs. So if singer Tola Leon Toleo, then Zoba uh, Hip in yeah, there yeah. we go. And that's the thing. You yeah. have to assess how the situation first yes. and know that I liked what you said now. That's it's what not I'm about, doing now. It's not about your, your gender coming yeah. into the game. It's about how I'm good you rapper. are. And anybody who can beat 
any four experienced MCs and get yourself a 10K is somebody definitely worth taking a look at. And you will see a lot more of Assessor on the show with a debut single named Quantum coming up a little later. It is going to be absolutely incredible and I guarantee you it's going to be a spectacle. So make sure you, you check out the TV and also take some notes down because you're going to want to see this particular rapper going through the SA music industry and just dominating. It is happening already and it will do happen on the Expresso show here on S3 a little later. So keep the bars coming, it's gonna be amazing.